Okay guys, so in this video we're just going to have a look at some of the dependencies we're going to start off with. So let's get into that. So the first thing I've done is that I've added React, React DOM and React Router because I know that these are the, the at least the foundation technologies that we're going to start off with because we are going to need React in order, actually in order to create the application and we are going to need some type of client-side routing because the behavior is that you move between different tabs, you stay on the same page but you still do some type of client-side routing. And in order for that to happen I've added some dev dependencies so we're adding Babel and then we're adding the Babel loader so that we can actually transpile our JSX files into regular old JavaScript files and on top of that we are adding Babel presets for React so that Babel can understand the React syntax basically and then we use Webpack to do our bundling. So let's look at Webpack and basically what we're gonna do here is that we declare our entry point which is this little new directory here with this file here this simple little file where we simply depend on React and React DOM and then we create a dummy element and then we're just going to render that to the root element of the whatever page that we are going to load this JavaScript onto. And then our output is going to be this dist folder here. This is just a convention type of thing where like this is just where all of the compiled assets and things that we produce as part of our builds is going to live. And we're just going to name them that bundle.js. And then we set our mode to development so that we don't minify or uglify our output. We just want to be as quick as possible when we're doing development work. And then we need a single rule. Well, single test to do our load uh, to use the loader basically and we're just going to specify that when you identify a file that is called js like ends in js or jsx we're just going to grab that we're going to exclude anything that is in node modules because we don't want to compile anything from here because that's just not our code basically and then finally we're just going to use the babel loader which is the thing that allows us to actually compile JSX, this syntax here, which is not in standard JavaScript, you can't do this, and just convert that into something that the JavaScript V8 engine in Chrome specifically is going to understand. Uh, it's not the only engine, of course, but just in uh, something that uh, the JavaScript engine is going to understand. And then we set our query with our presets so that the React presets are included in the Babel loader, so it understands JSX. And that's about it. That's the first part of setting all of this up. And in the next video, we are going to actually serve this up using an HTML document. So let's look at that.